Good day. My name is Ruth Kumar, and today we are going to discuss another very important data set which is related to body. So, the people who are interested to explore or apply some sort of ML or sort of related techniques in the field of speech recognition, then they can go for it. So, let's start. So, this particular data set is available at this particular site. Here you can see the open SLR. Now, the open SLR stands for the open speech and language resources here you can see at the website additionally the information related to this particular data set include that the uh, this particular site is offering the libri speech asr purpose so uh, coming to the libri speech detailing so i would like to tell you the libri speech purpose is a collection of audiobooks from the librivox project that totals around 1000 hours so the project to Gutenberg provides the majority of the audiobooks and the training data is divided into three different partitions. Now, while developing and testing, then uh, different sorts of cleaning and the other things are required. So depending on how well you maintain the sort of different automatic speech recognition or the kind of things, then accordingly you have to manage your data. Additionally, when you are looking uh, into the kind of details of development and testing, then the audio lens of uh, roughly four hours comes into picture. The engram and the language models and the accompanying test for the project Gutenberg books uh, may come into a total of around 803 million tokens and more than 97,000 universes. So in this way, you can go and have an exploration of the related site. And uh, you can, uh, if you are interested more, then you can go into the resources menu of this particular site here. At the this particular resources tab, you will see lots of resources are available in the form of SLR one, two, three, and so on. If you want to contact to the development team, then I think you should contact to Deepaway. So he is the contact person. The phone number is also available. Now coming to the different categories, so the speech, software, and the text. These are the three main categories. Is additionally the miscellaneous is also one of the categories. So I think that's enough for your information. Additionally, if you want to have some sort of contribution from your side, because these sort of sites do survive because of the collaboration. So if you want to uh, contribute some sort of data that you have at your site, then you have to look onto the things that, that what sort of data are available. Additionally, while submitting, you need to follow some of the guidelines. And the format of the submitted data, that is very important because whenever you are submitting data, you need to follow some sort of basic guidelines of a respective site. Okay, so all these sort of things are available here and you can go and have the respective introspection. Now coming to the homepage. So here, most of the things we have already covered, the resources, the technology and the other things related. Uh, if you want to have, then everything is available here. Resource tab is additionally provided at the top. We have already discussed about that. Now coming to the some of the other things means when we uh, usually discuss a data set, we usually think about some of the related other kind of actions that you want to perform. So as we have already seen that the speech and data is available there. So you can have the sort of speech recognition. You can have the automatic speech recognition. You may go for the resynthesis sort of things or the speech enhancement. Now, additionally, when you are uh, having these sort of things, then one thing come to mind that are people working on uh, this particular data set or people are publishing papers? Yes, people are publishing papers and they have given their respective inputs in different forms. If you want to have a different uh, uh, kind of exploration, then I think uh, you should go for two or three papers at least. Then you can have a mixture of these approaches or you can develop your own approach. Now, coming to the paper, so, so I would like to tell you that a paper is published named Real M, which uh, works towards the speech separation on real mixtures. Additionally, the speech brain is also one of the paper where a general purpose speech toolkit is discussed. Now, coming to the another uh, paper, so timers and such related paper is also discussed in which a practical benchmark for spoken language understanding with numbers is discussed. So different sorts of approaches, like I just told you, like a person also discussed with the quartz net, in which the deep automatic speech recognition with the Bundy time channel separable convolutions were discussed. So I think uh, uh, obviously coming to the uh, domain of data sets, the speech learning, the machine learning, uh, deep learning, and obviously with the help of these technologies, the speech recognition, speech enhancements, and sort of activities you can perform. Additionally, when uh, we see a particular data set, then one thing comes to mind that if not this, then what are the other options? So 
the common competitors of livery speech stands in the form of vctk the Ubri light and the common voice. So if you uh, want to have the respective exploration, then you need to go to the respective sites or you can go to some of the related videos. So the modalities of this particular data set include the audio and speech and uh, both things are quite clear from the description that we have already given. Additionally, if you want to have some sort of information, please do criticize or do comment uh, down this video. And if you want to provide your useful inputs uh, to improve the analysis further in our future coming videos, please let us know. Thanks for watching this video. Happy learning.